Oh, welcome guys. So in this video, our goal is to compute this integration. Exponential negative x squared times cosine 2 bx dx. Okay, and we try to compute it uh, via the complex analysis. So usually, uh, actually compute this integral, uh, you may not actually really need a complex analysis, but in this video, we are uh, trying to use complex analysis. So before I start, I hope you guys subscribe to my channel, and I also build a complex analysis video list that you guys can check out in the link in the bin, um, b below if you want to learn more how to use a countering equation. Okay, so uh, let's uh, do it step by step. Okay, so let's do it step by step. Okay. Yeah, I just shrink. I uh, just so that uh, we can compute. Okay, so now let's consider f of let's maybe use the larger stroke. So f of z defined to be exponential negative z squared, and then let's consider the contour integral to be uh, the rectangle. Let's say this is minus a, this is a, and uh, this is b. So this is our contour. Uh, which is a rectangle, so I go from here, 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 here. Okay, so let's call it rectangle gamma. Okay, so gamma has a four four sides, right? One, two, three, four. So fz does not have any pole. So integral of f of z dz along gamma will be zero. Okay, so let's see the first integral, second integral, third integral, fourth integral. So first integral is from minus a to a, right? So minus a to a is potential negative x squared dx. So this is the common, the common one right the common one and then how about the third one so the third one is the same as the first the first one right the only difference is that uh, x need to be shifted by ib squared because this is x plus ib and uh and go from negative direction so it's go from a to negative a let's say the what is the second one so second one is uh z should be written as a plus it right t from zero to b okay so this is just uh exponential negative a plus i t square and i d t from 0 to b. And uh, the first one is the same. It's minus a plus i t. So minus minus a plus i t square i d t and then from uh, b to 0. Okay, so uh, now we have the four results right, for integration. And uh, what our, uh, what our contour integration result tell us that uh, sum of all four of them should be zero. So okay, so now we just write down. So now we don't need it. Uh, we don't need this picture, right? Since we already have everything. So that's so we got the uh, a minus a. Let me spend a little bit of time, write everything down. 0 B. Which is 0, right? If A greater than 0, B greater than 0. So this is from our contour integration. Okay, so next is just let A goes to infinity. Uh, since we are going to do some infinity, right? We are doing a complex integration, so usually we do we need to do infinity. Also let's say if A goes to infinity, then uh, what will happen? That's maybe a change of color. So if a goes to infinity, then the first one will be, be basically be some of the so-called Gaussian integral. Right? So this is a famous result everybody should know. If you don't, I will leave the link below. So this is square root of pi. Okay, plus let's say the second term. Okay, so let's let's make a, a estimation of the second term. So you see the second term is basically this. Okay, if I take the absolute value, then this i does not important, right? So just ignore. And also this term is exponential, let's say, let's write down. It's exponential minus a squared minus t plus t squared. Sorry, let's write down. So it's exponential uh, a squared plus 2iat minus t squared dt. And then this 2iat are actually the imaginary, uh, just the, the, the absolute value one. So I, I, I can neglect this term. And only serve as serve list. And whatever it is, right, it must be this guy, absolute value 0 to b is to t squared dt. And I, I don't care because for fixed b, once you fix b, then this is just con constant. So as a goes to infinity, then this term will go to 0 as a, a go to infinity. So the second term and the first term, for the same reason, goes to 0. So uh, what we get is just this. 
let me just write down. So the second turn and the first turn goes to zero. So we get square root of a pi plus a goes to infinity, so it's negative infinity, infinity, exponential negative x squared to i b x minus b squared dx, right, which is zero. Okay, so this turn, uh, I can change this to be infinity and a negative infinity change the direction so this become infinity negative infinity and the plus sign to be minus right okay so and then we get a square root of pi equals to exponential b square uh exponential b square is, is uh, just some constant right infinity infinity negative x square minus 2 i b x dx okay and the least term can be written as an exponential negative x square cosine 2 bx plus i sine to bx. And then this is the odd function. This is a odd function. So integration is even. So actually, we don't need this. list. Right, so actually, this term is just this. So finally, we got square root of pi exponential negative b square equals to infin negative infinity to infinity exponential negative x square cosine to bx dx. OK, very nice, very nice. We don't know do our we don't do our something stupid, so we can still solve. I'll see you okay. See you guys in the next videos.